Hello. Um, I'm listening to a reading. He's secretly fantasizing about you from the popular Lona, and I was just feeling like I wanted to do my own reading because the pile I picked was not resonating. Talking about somebody's baby mama or baby father fantasizing about me. I don't have a baby, so I don't really understand. But what I did decide is that. Uh, I do not spirit I do not resonate and I do not claim and the funny thing about it is spirit was the one who was like bitch this is your pile it's giving ugly okay what cards just came out three of cups king of swords nine of wands the empress temperance and the empress what did I just say I said the empress temperance and the empress I don't know why I repeated the empress twice <sighs> Anyways, I'm not listening to this reading because I do not resonate with the hell and I do not claim that for my life. What the hell? Okay, I just split the deck. I got the Fool, the Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles, and Justice. What am I doing here? I don't know. I just wanted to do a fun little reading too because I was like, why does everybody else get to do a reading when I don't get to do a reading? I'm about to do a reading. Um, what is this reading going to be about? Not how to save the world. Spirit, I'm tired. The Queen of Swords is popping right out behind the Hierophant. You know what this is talking about? Reclaiming your power and being unapologetic about it. The Queen of Swords has been coming out, and you know what? She's the most underrated and yet one of the most powerful queens because she's really about her shit when she says, I don't give a fuck, and I'm not compromising. I'm not compromising on what I care about. I'm not compromising on my goals. I'm not compromising on my standards. She's one of those queens that's like, okay, yeah, I do. my words do cut deep because I say the truth, and I'm not going to be a people pleaser, and I'm not going to shape my words and mold my words to fit what you're comfortable with I'm going to say my truth and if that hurts you and if that wounds you I'm so sorry bitch call an ambulance like what do you want me to do this is not my problem that's why I really appreciate the queen of swords right behind her the knight of swords right because she's back oh right behind her two of cups and the death and rebirth and it's 11 33 because I knew the spirit was about to come through this is what I say. Is that the Four of Wands? Ooh, but the out. Oh, I had to pull out the Four of Wands and instead the Tower came. Girl, spirits like, don't focus on love. Think about love, bitch. This is about destruction. This is about shaking up the place and making you bitches realize, ah! I saw 55 and then I saw 55 and then, ah! And you know what? Five is also one of those, like, numbers, those suits in all of the tarot decks that's underrated. And by me as well. Because it's just like, you see the five and you're just like, oh, you know, because it's just like, oh, competition, oh, loneliness, oh, grief, oh, fuck, you know, anxiety. All this shit that you really don't want to hear about, but that's the shit that wakes you up, that really gets you going and makes you realize, oh my god, my life is like a mess. I need to get it together. I need to bring justice to myself. I need to take the damn blindfold off. Like, it's like the Eight of Swords reverse. You're like, what the hell is going on? Let me get up and get on with my life. Like, I'm not about to stay here in this bullshit situation. <sighs> uh-uh. I hope this doesn't have to do with friendships. I hope this doesn't have to do with a lover. But as always, what does it always have to do with? Because we're human beings and I mean relationships are the bane of our existence. And yet also the heart and the glory and the soul of our existence. It is just, it's everything and I love it. And it's also very difficult. Hmm. We've got two threes here and I also repeated the Empress twice. Which makes me think of three, three, three. Um... What is this reading about? I don't know. Spirit, talk to me for a second. Let's shuffle the cards a little bit. I'm coming out here with some energy. I was feeling combative and violent. I wanted to watch the Bad Girls Club and I was like, mm, you know, not the best energy, but that was what I was feeling. Um, but I haven't really been watching it. I've just been, like, continuously replaying this TikTok where these girls are walking to telephone. Um, but the way you homing up my phone won't make me leave no faster. Leave my girl gone faster. Leave my phone a faster. Ooh, we have the Ten of Wands. 
picking up your shit and leaving. Or leaving and forgetting all the goddamn baggage. Okay. Because you know what? Here what we have. The lovers, the tower, the magician. And the ten of wands is the one that I turned around. We got the justice peeking out right here. We got the star peeking out right here. But on top we have the page of cups. The fantasy is over. The fantasy is over. The illusion is done. I know we're in Pisces season. All of us are really coming becoming very aware of the illusions the delusion that we had in our minds but it's time for that to wrap it up and let's get on with our lives and let's realize what the hell is happening so that we can get it together and leave because i think spirit is like bitch you are really out here wasting time on some lame ass nigga that doesn't mean shit to you and that really doesn't mean shit to anyone and you're out here giving your heart, giving your soul, giving all your energy, giving all of your emotions, giving everything you have to this relationship, to this situation that is not feeding you and it's not filling your cup. And you know what? The Ace of Cups came out earlier and that's really what it is all about. Self-love. I know it's corny. I know it's annoying, but self-love is really the most important thing on the planet and it's the most important thing in the universe. And if you don't love yourself, you really, really are not helping anybody and you're definitely not helping yourself. A lot of us need to work on our self-love, myself included. And I'm really realizing that that's a thing. And there's no more waiting around. Like, when I see the three of wands, I'm like, oh, Like, I used to appreciate it because I was like, ooh, my ship's coming in. But now I see the three of wands and I'm like, bitch, like, the ship's been coming in. Like, when is it docking? When is the anchor dropping? Like, it's just giving. It's too much. It's time for us to really take the reins. It's time for us to take control. Uh-uh. And to think this all came from a who's fantasizing about you. Ooh. Three of Cups and the Fool. It's time for some new beginnings. And here's the Ace of Cups like I was just talking about. I'm telling y'all. There's a Queen of Cups. I was thinking about her in my mind. I didn't say it, though. Through the Fool and the Three of Cups. Y'all, some of y'all need to drop your friends. Some of y'all have new friends coming in, which honestly, ooh, I accept and I praise and I really, really receive that. Because... A lot of us are in need of friendships that actually match the standards in which we hold for ourselves and what we've been building up over these past few years, especially when it comes to boundaries and emotional vulnerability and emotional intelligence. A lot of us need friendships that now match the level of awareness that we are at now. And a lot of us are holding on to relationships and situations, dynamics, patterns in our lives that just do not make sense and do not match the energy that we are giving out to the universe and asking for the universe to reflect back onto us. If you want the universe to manifest and bring about your dreams and co-create with the universe, then you're going to have to create space for that. You know, yes, we are like endless beings. We are expansive, but the universe can only give you so much at once. And if you have all of this energy crowding your space, then the universe is like, you can't handle all of these new incredible friendships that match your energy because you're dealing with all this other shit. You got to get rid of that first. That's what that Ten of Wands is talking about. Part of the Ten of Wands is moving on. Yes, completion. Yes, you're at the end of the road. Yes, you've got strength. Yes, you're going through it. But you're also like, put down the goddamn bags. Like, you don't need all those bags. You don't need all those bags. It's really time for us to get on our Marie Kondo. What sparks joy? Is that baggage sparking joy? No? Okay. It's time to let it go. And let it go, you know, I know that that's easier said than done, but it's time for some shadow work. It's time to go through our emotions. It's time to grieve. It's time to reflect. It's time to cut the cord. It's time to cut the ties. Because a lot of us are exhausted and we need a new beginning. And the fool is here, which means new beginnings are in abundance. The universe is like, bitch, I would love to give you a new beginning, but you need to have the space for that. You need to have the time for that. And you don't have the time for that because you're all here dealing with your old shit. Oh my God. I just, okay. So this judgment just came out. Two of cups. Three of cups is here again. Three of wands is here again. Seven of swords and right behind seven of swords. The emperor and justice is peeking out. I see Knight of Pentacles wanting to peek out, but girl, we are not going to acknowledge him. We are not here for no slow movement. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. Um, oh, we got the Queen of Cups here again. All right. What's that, the sun? Oh, I tried to move over the sun and it gave me the tower. 
But you know what? That's good. The tower is good because because it's energy and it's change. It's change that is at this point unpreventable, if you ask me, and probably for the best. Um, I'm seeing all this and I'm just like, girl, you have an abundance of wishes coming in, dreams come true coming in, but you need to allow them to come in. If you are defensive, if you have your blocks up, if you are questioning everything, if you want to like inspect everything before the universe gives it to you, then the universe is like, girl, I have other things to do. Like, no, I'm not going to sit here and wait and make sure that you love everything and it's all perfect before I give you this gift. Like, take it or leave it, bitch. Nobody has time for that. Nobody has time for that. You need to come into your confidence. You need to come into your self-worth and realize that you don't need to inspect and question everything because when you and the universe have a healthy and balanced relationship, they're going to listen to your needs and they're going to provide. If you don't have a healthy and balanced relationship, then obviously you're going to be questioning everything that they give you and being like, oh, is this actually what I asked for? But you need to trust the universe. The universe said they were going to give you what you wanted, so why aren't you trusting them? What... Mm, where do your trust issues come from and why is it your dad and you know what I'm not even shocked because a lot of us got dad problems and girl it's okay it's not even your problem it's your dad's problem but like who's gonna hold them accountable and I'm not even gonna put that on you because a lot of us are tired and a lot of us do not have the energy for that but spirit is saying that you need to believe in your wishes and in your goals and you need to believe in yourself because you are manifesting everything that you want but the timing girl the timing is going to take as long as it takes for you to realize that you deserve what you want and for you to love yourself enough to be able to receive what you desire. A lot of us will manifest, 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 and then reject what we desire when it comes. Because we're like, oh, I don't know if that's for me. Bitch, like, you literally asked for this. It was on your Christmas wish list. And that's when the spirit is like, okay, like, I'm tired. Spirit's tired because you're like, co-create with me, spirit. Manifest with me. And then you don't follow through. I just saw 1212. What's 12? Hanged man. Yep. It's time for some reflection. It's time for some reflection. And that's you and me both. We are all in the same boat. And you know what I was going to say earlier? I wish I had said it now. Um, but I had said that I had been seeing a lot of, like, numbers in a sequence. So 5, 6, 7, or 7, 6, 8, or 7, 8, 9. Um, things like that. And I just saw 7, 8, 9 here. Um, and I think that that's reflective of the fact that we're all on a journey. We're all on the path forward. We're moving oh, down the path in a good way, but... It's going to take time. Each step takes time to get towards and we need to be patient and we need to acknowledge the work that we're putting in because it's a lot of work. You need to be proud of yourself and be patient with yourself and also hold space for yourself. Three of Wands keeps coming out. Three of Wands, what's behind that? Three of Pentacles. Three, three, three. I told you that was important and now I'm seeing 1144 on the clock. Three of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ten of Wands. If you can lean on your community or if you're out here waiting for a community, you're waiting for your soul family, you're waiting for your people to come in. Ooh, we got the lovers in the back of the deck. You're waiting for love to come in. Either way, if you're waiting for your people, your new beginnings to come in, it's coming. Yeah, you have the Ten of Pentacles right behind that. So family, community, soul family, um, partnership, friendships, all of that is coming in. And it's hard because, you know, with timing, it's like the spirit world does not understand timing in the same way that we understand timing as human beings, which can be really frustrating because it's like, hello, I've been waiting a long ass time. But you have to realize that if things aren't here yet, it's because there's still more that you need to um, not necessarily work on, but it's just more time that you deserve to spend with yourself. Instead of seeing it as a punishment or a job, see it as a gift, the time that you get alone with yourself. And I know that that's hard to say because I've, I've also, I'm like in the same position. I'm out here waiting on my shit and I'm like, where is it? But I'm realizing, I have these moments where I'm realizing, oh shit, like, <laughs> thank goodness I'm alone right now. Thank goodness I'm by myself. You know, my community will come in when it needs to come in. But right now, yeah, it's all about self-care. It's all about that self-love. And it honestly looks like we've got at least a few more. It looks like we have a few more tower moments before 
we get our community in, you know? And that's okay because it's something that we can handle because at this point it's been tower after tower. If you're living a similar in, um, what's it called? <laughs> Incarnation? Incarnation is me, you've been getting towers after tower. So it's okay, we can handle it. But the point is that it's time to focus on what that Empress energy was all about, which is what came out at the very beginning, which I repeated twice, which is all about self-love. Oh, King of Swords came out. Ooh, it doesn't even want to stay in my hand. What are you about? Self-love and like pleasure, joy, spending time with yourself, understanding yourself, stepping into your power. High Priestess, like things like that. Very intuitive, very... Um, balanced and grounded energy that is in the energy of reception, working on that divine feminine, working on that nurturing without over giving and over self sacrificing. Uh, what is this King of Swords talking about? The Three of Cups. Ah, shit. A lot of us, you know what, and it's because we focus so much. Whenever we talk about toxic things in our lives, everybody always goes to friendship. Oh, I was going to say, everybody always goes to love first. That's what I meant to say. Everybody always goes to love first, but the Three of Cups just came out. And I was like, but friendship is also a huge thing where there's a lot of toxic dynamics, a lot of dynamics that need to be uprooted and you need to move beyond, but it's way harder to let go of a friendship than, oh my God, and here's a fool trying to peek out. Here's a fool. It's way harder to let go of friends than it is to let go of a partner because friends are like, that's your friend. Like, that's so meaningful and I get it because bitch the year I've had and I'm looking here and I have the ugh, three of wands just continues to come out patience um the emperor is right here oh and we got a divine counterpart because we also have the empress and the emperor right there but right behind the emperor we have the nine of pentacles which makes me think of the independence and when I think of the queen of Cups, which is right behind there, I think of emotional independence, being able to sustain yourself. And you have the Queen of Wands peeking out right here. Um, yeah, there might be some friendships that you need to communicate boundaries with. Boundaries are very important. And it's hard with friends, especially if they're long-term friends that you've grown up with, that you've shared secrets with that you're vulnerable with. It's very hard to cut those ties. If you're not cutting ties, it's very hard to have those conversations with where you're drawing a boundary. Uh, oh, damn. It looks like what Spirit is telling me that some people might need to spend some time alone. The Hermit card, what's right there? Seven of Pentacles, working on growing your own foundation. So what Spirit is saying is that a lot of us are destabilizing our foundation and kind of completely uprooting who we are and beginning again. That's why the fool keeps coming out. What's that? Seven. Is that seven of pentacles? Oh, seven of wands. Okay. Double sevens. Um, seven of wands. Yeah. So a lot of us are re uprooting and completely beginning fresh. And with new soil, and it's because of the boundaries that we've drawn. And it's because we've ascended to another level where we understand ourselves more and we understand what we need more and we understand that what we need is not being reflected by the relationships that are currently in our life. And so we are realizing that we need to like fully cut off and start again. And that is terrifying and that is very difficult because we are human beings and we have emotions and our relationships are complex and people are complex and so just because you know somebody isn't serving you in this one way does not mean they're a horrible person and so drawing a boundary as difficult and as brutal as it may seem as cutting somebody off is very hard to do when you can see the complexity of a person but ultimately it is for your betterment and it's also for that person's betterment it's this is where that whole you know your some people are in your life for a season is really like it's real and it's hard because it's like you know I would love for this person to always be there but sometimes that's just not the way it's supposed to be as much as it hurts but I feel like that's what spirit's saying because it's like there's like a heavy imbalance and the more that you stay in these dynamics the more you like feed into each other's toxicity 
Um, and this is about personal growth. This is about accountability. Yeah. This is about walking away. We got the hangman right after that, isn't that? Yeah. And the lovers keeps coming out. Hmm. So you may have some new situations coming in, but it's going to be paired with some heartbreak and some anxiety. Oh, my fucking God. Shit. Spirit's just like, bitch, you thought you were going to get a cute little fantasized message? I lied. Fine. Whatever. Okay, well, the Empress wants to stay out. This is the strength of the Divine Feminine. She cuts off whatever the fuck she needs to cut off. That's what I was saying about the Queen of Swords. Underappreciated. She cuts off what she needs to cut off, despite it being brutal, because she knows that ultimately it's actually out of a place of love. Because she knows that ultimately it's for your betterment and it's for theirs. She's thinking, she's like in the long game. Some of us are in the short game, she's in the long game. Oh, we got the Devil, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Emotional stability will help you see past the illusions and help you see past the competitions and the self-doubt. Because what's stopping a lot of us is feeling ungrounded without the validation and support and almost like the ruling of other people. Other people in our lives who tell us what to do, who tell us how to think, all this other shit. Tell us that our ideas are great, tell us that we're beautiful, tell us this, tell us that. You know, when you begin to form your own foundation, Seven of Pentacles, grow your own roots, independent of anybody else, Nine of Pentacles, then you begin to become solid enough to stand on your own without having to reference this illusion with the devil um, and these other people with the Five of Wands in a toxic way. The Five of Wands isn't always bad. But um, without having to reference all these outside sources and be able to look to yourself for the answer, which is the ultimate, which is the empress. She's a queen. Ooh. Eight of cups. Walk away. <sighs> Damn. All the same cards keep running, coming out. Spirit's like, that's the message. That's it. What's that one that's turned over? Death and rebirth. Death and rebirth. The ultimate and only message you really need to hear, bitch, it's a new beginning. Embrace death, embrace the darkness. Don't be afraid of it, it's on your side. And allow yourself to be open to change. Allow yourself to be open to the destruction of certain ideals and patterns and things that you've romanticized in the past because they probably weren't serving you and spirit is coming in to shake things up so that you can be aligned with your highest path for the future because boy, oh, oh boy, do we have a future ahead of us. Oop, the lovers wanted to come out, but instead, what was the Four of Pentacles? What are you holding on to and what do you need to let go of? Oh, and there's the lovers again. Ooh, ooh, finally our queen of swords, she's back. She's here and she's watching over you. She doesn't give a fuck if you like her or not. Bitch, she don't give a fuck. Oh, I split the deck and here's the four of pentacles again. Let go of whatever you're holding on to. Because when I tell you the universe is like over it, and so are you. So I don't even know why you're holding on at this point. Nine of wands, judgment, the lovers. Put on the baggage. Stop overworking yourself. Begin to look inward and focus on what you need. What do you need? Once you realize that, you're going to start attracting things that fulfill your needs. You're going to start manifesting your dreams and you'll be in a place where you can actually accept that. And then you'll be in your full dominant empress energy which then the empress is also the queen of swords as much as the empress is the queen of pentacles the queen of wands the queen of cups she's also the queen of swords once you embrace your queen of swords energy you'll be able to access the empress energy and that's exactly why i had to see 1155 okay that's the message i ain't got nothing else to say oh shit and three four i told you i'm seeing numbers in a sequence Oh my god, and there's the thing again. Okay. Bye!